working with drawing templates. You can turn any new or even a blank drawing into a drawing template for future use simply by changing the drawing settings to whatever it is that you'd like to see in the future. And again, that's the drawing settings, not the workspace settings. The workspace settings are saved here. Your drawing settings are what's saved in the template. And then save the drawing as a DWT and placing it in the location of your choosing. So just as an example, uh, if I wanted all of my new drawings to come in with particular point groups set up. So I'm going to add a new point group. Let's call it staking. And I want to, any points that are in the range 1,000 through 1,999 to be included in that group. Apply and OK. And then I want my border to be staking border. I can then go to the little AutoCAD logo, which is essentially my file button. Save as Drawing Template or DWD. Save it in my template location with a name that makes it easily identifiable. And a description. It'll ask me to save it as a DWT. And now that's all set. From our options, File, Template Settings, Default Template File for Q New, I could browse to my new staking exhibit. Okay, and now any new file that I create will already look and feel like my staking exhibit. It'll have the correct point groups set up because again, I've saved my drawing settings to a template and now it's AutoCAD is utilizing that template every time I hit Q new. If I don't want to have it as a default, I just want to have this template as one of my available templates. When I say file, new drawing it'll ask me which template i want to use so if i don't want to reset my default my generic exhibit i wanted to keep using that as my default um, when i wanted to create a staking exhibit i could just go select the template that i created and hit open from there it would open that specific template for one-time use well-made templates will save you from recreating the wheel every time you get started because the template is home to various modifications that you may want or need uh, in your future drawings. You can create uh, paper space layout tabs with preset borders for uh, you know, quick use or the most common uses. You can also define particular layers so that you can see that this template came with any of the layers that were set up in the previous drawing. Set default styles for your point groups, the way labels behave and are visualized, and so on. One thing to remember that once you have started a new drawing using a template, remember to actually save that drawing to a file location. So you can see that it's just creating uh, generic drawings for me. They aren't saved anywhere yet. So after I've started a drawing from a template and performed my work, I still have to go to File and perform a Save As Drawing and then select the specific location where I want that drawing to be saved as a DWG. Thanks for visiting Lean Survey. There are plenty more best practice, quick tricks, and tip videos on the way. Be sure to like, leave a comment if you have recommendations for content, and click that subscribe button for more.